Hi guys, it's reaction time. We've got Road Wolf and Midnight Lightning album out this fucking Friday, May the 19th on Napalm Records. These are a great band, man. Uh, reacted to a song of theirs mm, just about four weeks ago. Absolutely loved it. Blew me away. Check out that reaction. Um, it says about this, it says, Road Wolf proudly presents the third single and the title track of our new album, Midnight Lightning. Since the earliest inception of the song, when we first jammed around the great melodies of that track, we knew Midnight Lightning was something special. To us, it's one of the best songs we've ever written as a band. There was no doubt, Midnight Lightning shall be the title of our new album. Enjoy the ride into the midnight sun. The band is Franz Burr on the vocals, Valentine Strasser on the guitars, Christoph Aigner on the bass, and Emmanuel Brooke Muller on the drums. This was produced and recorded by Emmanuel Brooke Muller, who's the drum drummer. So that's cool. And mixed and mastered by Dennis Cohn. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. So a lot of the music on Napalm Records is usually some of it is quite heavy. Some there's some extreme metal on there. I think some death metal and stuff like that. This is like a hard rock band. A very fucking cool hard rock band as well. So without further ado, this is Road Wolf and Midnight. Lightning. Here we go. They really know how to crack that nostalgic sound. I mean, 
there's loads of bands that are trying to do this sort of thing at the moment. Like literally loads of them. If anyone watches the channel or listens to the channel New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal full albums on YouTube, will know that you know every day a couple of bands pop up with a new song or a new album. But it almost feels like there's a forced nostalgic thing going on where they're trying too much to sound like you know 45 years ago and trying to give you that feel but not quite cracking it but there's bands like this that come along that sound like they're not trying to force it but they give you that feel that nostalgic feel that's exactly what these guys do there's like rock and roll bits in this there's new wave of british heavy metal sounds in this and that rock and roll sort of riff that leads into each verse is so fucking much fun. It's a really cool, fun listen. And then when them chords crash in, you get those parts where it crashes in and the vocals start and the sort of um, stop, start, gap uh, riffs. Absolutely brilliant. The vocals are outstanding. There's a little bit of galloping going on, just very rarely. But of course, when it's rarely used, the gallop is just sort of insinuated a little bit more it just it almost gives you that it's right up front because it's only used occasionally very tastefully don't get me wrong i can do a gallop all day long all the way through a song but i love the way they're using it sporadically and just hitting you with that gallop now and again and it really shines in the mix you know what i mean because the the guitars are quite heavy in the mix it sounds brilliant as well it's got a really nice bright sound to it and that's again what I said about some of these bands that are trying to get that, you know, pull that 80s, early 80s sound back, if you like. They're even trying to emulate the production, which was fucking awful, you know. Don't try and sound awful as well. Just to, That doesn't make you sound nostalgic because your production's bad. You sound nostalgic because the songwriting's great, which a lot of the songwriting was great, you know, 40 years ago. And that's what this band are like. It's about the songwriting. It's fun. It's catchy. It's quite heavy at times. It's rock and roll. It's classic metal. It's everything rolled into one. Love this band. Really do. Let's listen to the rest, guys. Really looking forward to the solo. We've heard some great guitar playing already. And um, we haven't even got to the solo yet. So can't wait for it. Here we go.
amazing stuff, man. The solo was outstanding. I love the way he really suited it with them riffs crashing in. And then when the rest of the band joined in, lovely bit of fretwork up the board. I mean, we've heard that sort of thing before, but perfectly executed in that solo. Love that, man. That was brilliant. And such a fun listen as well, that song. Such a fucking fun listen. That's what you want your music to be like, your heavy rock to be like. Fun to fucking listen to. I miss them days. I really do. So a brilliantly executed late 70s, early 80s sounding song with some real sort of cool rock and roll elements to it. Really fun with a great, great production. The album's out this fucking Friday, May the 19th on Napalm Records. The album's called Midnight Lightning. That was Midnight Lightning. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. I'll see you soon.